I want to point out to you that the, um, the last body of water that you drove across to get here, the last bridge you went across, comes across the Indian River Lagoon. And the Indian River Lagoon is actually the most biodiverse estuary in all of North America. Um, so we are very fortunate to have that right here in our backyard. And an estuary is, is a combination of water. It's kind of brackish water. It's a combination of salt water and, and uh, fresh water. So all of these species of fish are fish that can live in the Indian River Lagoon. You're not going to have, wait, in this, in this uh, fish tank, did you hear her slurping up the, we can't, couldn't keep some of the fish like the fast moving sharks and dolphin mahi mahi that you have out in the ocean. But these are all fish that would come in, a lot of them would come into the Indian River Lagoon to um, have their babies because we have a great mangrove swamp in here. And the, um, the, if you walk out on our nature trail, we have lots of mangroves and lots of uh, roots where these babies can be protected and grow up to maturity out here. Everybody's getting the show. Now for those of you who, who didn't go to the turtle program, we do have three non-releasable turtles in this, in this tank. Uh, Lily was just here a little while ago, Lily the loggerhead, she usually comes by. Did you see where Turk's hanging out today? I think um, we ha in the little nursery, that rocked off area there, we have Hank, who's a green sea turtle. And he's not very sociable, but he usually is just hanging out, soaking up the uh, soaking up the sun. And then we have a large green sea turtle that's usually over there along the wall over there. So it's good to go have a look at our turtles. They all have um, issues mostly primarily from being hit by boats. So uh, they're not going to be able to be released back into the to the wild because they have buoyancy issues. They can't dive anymore for their food. Are you getting your fill here? Um, let's see. Yeah, once it's not so crazy, then they'll come. He lives in the reef ball down here. No, they like, they like to be protected. Yeah, there he goes. He's just, right, he's just swimming. Is that Lily? Yeah, when it's all stirred up, it's hard to see. Yeah, he's just going over the back end. The jack cravals are always fun. They're fun to catch and they're fun to uh, to feed because they stir up the water a lot. Oh, here she comes. Anybody have any questions? Yeah. Yes. Me too. Sharks don't jump up like that. And the, there are sharks that jump, but not these guys. They pretty much like to stay in the water.